Marlene, Jamie, Michelle, Anne, and all of you at hospice. I could never even begin to express my gratitude for all the love, support, and care that you showered upon my most precious bride, Len. Your help and compassion was beyond belief. The help that you gave me taking care of her was second to none. Allowing me to keep her comfortable in her last days was such a blessing for the both of us. There was never a time of need that we had that you didn't help us, and that help always came swiftly. Never in my wildest dreams did I ever think that I could get so much help taking care of Lynn, who was always my dream come true. Lynn was my whole world. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for all that you did. It has been six months now since Lynn passed, and as I look back, I am even more amazed of the job that everyone at hospice did for us. I never expected all of the help that we got. Every single day for 30 days, both the nurse and aide were there to give us the help that we needed. Once Lynn was gone, I thought that was the end of the job for hospice, but that hasn't been the case. Michelle, the social worker that was helping us, came over again to visit and told me that they would continue to be there to support me for another 13 months. Unbelievable. She set me up with Lisa, an in-home grief counselor who is terrific and has been so good for me. Your Manahawk in office has called me numerous times to see how I am and if there was anything they could do to help me. I was notified that they were holding a memorial service for Lynn and for other families they had worked with and helped out. I went to the service and it was absolutely beautiful. I cannot thank you all enough and I will be forever grateful. Gary Bartnicki, Lynn's loving husband.